if you've been hiding from the robot apocalypse and haven't yet heard of ChatGPT or Claude or any of the other AI tools that have appeared on the market lately, then I have some bad news for you. The robots are here. But the good news is that this robot, for the time being, isn't currently taking over the world and is actually quite helpful for writing fiction. In this first video, we're going to look at ChatGPT. ChatGPT is a powerful language model developed by OpenAI that can generate human-like text when provided with a prompt. It can be useful for just about anything writing-related. Some artists, including writers, are worried about AI replacing human storytelling and creativity. Luckily, we are not there yet. But today, we will talk about how fiction writers can harness this power for the good of storytelling. The first step in using ChatGPT is to sign up. You'll need to sign up for an OpenAI account, but after you do, the service is free to use. Once you've logged in, you'll find yourself on a page like this. From here, you can talk with our robot overlord-to-be about whatever you want. Just type in a prompt and hit send. The real trick to using ChatGPT is in crafting your prompts effectively. The more detailed and specific you are with your request, the better the response you will get. So here we will cover how to write your prompts for different use cases, as well as showing examples of the responses we get from ChatGPT. If you're like me, you may struggle with outlining a story. It can be tough to get ideas of what should happen in your story when you haven't written it yet. This is why I think I'll be passing some of this work off to ChatGPT. Here is an example. The prompt I'm using goes like this. Can you give me a 30-chapter outline of this story? It's set in the far future. Science has allowed humans to colonize the solar system, but there is now a space race amongst Earth, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter to try to develop the best technology to reach other stars and galaxies. The protagonist is trying to develop wormhole technology as the speed of light is simply too slow for the required communication. Tensions are high in the solar system and something strange seems to be going on with the interstellar projects developed by the citizens of the gas giants. I included a lot of details about the story here, so that way I'm giving ChatGPT the best chance at giving me a good outline. Now let's look at the response. Sometimes ChatGPT will give you a truncated response, a shortened response, if you will, but this time, we don't have to worry about that because it spit out all 30 chapters in our outline. If you do have a case where ChatGPT doesn't give you the full outline, it can remember what you've just typed into it and its response. So just ask it to elaborate on the information it gave you or to expand the outline out. It may take a time or two, but eventually you'll get there. This is a pretty good start. Some of these chapter ideas aren't quite what I'm looking for, but like I said, you can continue the conversation. So you can ask for it to try again on a, any particular chapter that you want, or you can ask it to expand on the idea to give a full chapter summary on any chapter, and it will. Pretty great for getting the ideas flowing. Settings can be hard. Tolkien spent how much time just dreaming up Middle Earth? Like 40 years? That timeline doesn't quite work for me. Sometimes you just need a throwaway place that Ryan's secondary character came from. Let's see what ChatGPT can do for us. We'll try this prompt. Can you give me an interesting city for a steampunk novel? Tell me about the place, what industry it is involved in, where it gets food from, and who is in charge of the city. Maybe it's built on a frozen lake. Our response is city name, Frostwell. Description, Frostwell is a captivating steampunk city built on the icy surface of a frozen lake, deep in a world where the winters are harsh and unrelenting. 
The city itself is a marvel of brass and steel, its structures resembling intricate clockwork mechanisms, steam billows from tall, ornate chimneys, and gears and cogs turn at every corner. Crystal-like frozen canals crisscross the city, serving as both transportation routes and decorative elements, adding to the surreal beauty of the place. It goes on to break down the industry, food sources, and leadership. Frostwell is a place where creativity and industry coexist in a breathtaking setting where the clinking of gears and the rhythmic hiss of steam blend with the serenity of a frozen lake, making it a truly unique and captivating setting for your steampunk novel. This is pretty incredible. Maybe a bit cliche for a steampunk city, but it gave me everything I asked for in a list which is nice and organized. You can ask for more details on a specific part or simply list more things you want to know about the city and chat GPT will happily do so. Just like setting, let's test characters. We'll start with this prompt. I need to create a secondary character for my alternate history novel. I want a clever salesman who is trying to recruit Marie Curie to join a shady business. Maybe you give him a name, a motivation, tell me about his background and backstory, and give him an interesting physical feature. As you can see, it created a character named Jasper Monroe. Jasper is a savvy and ambitious salesman with a singular goal to recruit the brilliant Marie Curie for a shadowy business venture. He is motivated by the prospect of substantial financial gain and recognition knowing that Curie's scientific prowess could be a game changer for their enterprises. The promise of wealth and prestige drives him to pursue her relentlessly. This is great. It creates the, the character of Jasper, gives him motivation, gives him some backstory. We've got background and backstory. We've got physical features. Jasper Monroe's unique eyes, coupled with the, his determination and background, make him a character who can both charm and manipulate in your alternate history novel as he attempts to recruit Marie Curie for his clandestine business. Some great thinking on, uh, on the part of ChatGPT. If you have two characters that need to fight, give them a reason to fight. Let's, let's start with this prompt. What are some interesting conflicts between main characters for a historical romance novel. We'll paste that into ChatGPT and see what it comes up with. Interesting. So, let's see here. In a historical romance novel, you can create conflicts between the main characters that add depth and tension to the story. Here are some interesting conflicts you can explore. Social class differences, family feuds, secret identities, betrayal or deception, personal ambitions, cultural or religious differences, forced marriage, jealousy and rivalry, geographic separation, intrigues and conspiracies, traumatic past, personal flaws, Explore personal flaws or quirks that annoy or challenge the other character, making them question the relationship. I like that. Miscommunication, loyalty to friends or family, societal norms. It, it gave us 15 different areas that we could look at uh, conflict to arise in our novel. 15 different things. These conflicts can be used individual or in combination to create a complex and emotionally charged historical romance novel where the characters must overcome obstacles to find their happily ever after. This is really great. It gives us some meat, some 15 different things. I wouldn't have come up with these 15 different things. Um, I may use some of them. I may not, but it gets me to thinking. If you don't have some other spelling and grammar tool, then ChatGPT can certainly clean up your prose. But even more fun is you can change up your writing style with ChatGPT. Here's a silly example. We'll start with this prompt. Rewrite this passage in pirate speak. I stood up, 
The rough fabric of my dress scratched against my knees, and I walked down the steep path toward the landing pad. The soldiers had only just finished building it, and now the people from the sky, the people whose lights cover the moon and orbit the earth, were coming, just like Daddy said they would. I walked carefully down the path, watching for sharp rocks and glass, just like Grana told me to. I saw that the others from our village, the women and kids like me, that were left were also move, moving towards the large ship as it began to hover down to the earth. Grana wouldn't come, though, because Grana is sick. So I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to paste that right into ChatGPT and see what it comes up with. This is kind of hilarious. Arr, I hoisted myself up, the coarse cloth of me gown scratching against me knees. And I strolled down the treacherous trail to the landing pad. Them sea dogs had just finished raising it, and now the sky folk, the ones whose lanterns paint the moon and circle the earth, be on their way, just as me old man foretold. I'll I'll spare you the pirate speak, but it's pretty funny. While this was fun, Chat GPT can also change tenses, first person to third person, and other cool things. But I don't see this replacing editors in its current state. Editors bring more than just line edits. They bring a human voice and quality to your prose that can't be replaced with AI. Naming things can be one of the hardest parts of writing fiction. Luckily, ChatGPT can give us a whole list of names to try out. Let's start with this prompt. Can you give me some cool original names for castles? In a fantasy world, let's paste that into chat GPT. Oh, look at this. It's giving us, gave us 30 options from uh, Aetherholm Castle, Sorcerer Spire, Lore Weevil Citadel, Emberfall Keep, Thundertop Fortress, Dragon Claw Stronghold. These are some really great names. It gave us 30 options. Feel free to mix and match these names or use them as inspiration to create your own unique castle names for your fantasy world. Dark Water Citadel, that one's fun. Uh, Moon Shadow Tower, that, that's, those are great. These are, uh, these are awesome. While the names are a bit basic, they can certainly get the creative ideas flowing. One thing I love about ChatGPT is that you can take what it offers and a lot of times that will trigger the thought process. It's kind of like I like to think of using chat GPT as chatting with a friend and bouncing ideas off, you know, back and forth. The back and forth is where the creativity really comes from. Ready to write your next big hit, but aren't sure what it is yet? Let's see what chat GPT's ideas are. Let's start with this prompt. Can you give me some story ideas for murder mystery novels? I love to write mystery novels, my favorite uh, genre to play in. So let's see what ChatGPT comes up with. Certainly, here are some intriguing murder mystery story ideas to inspire your next novel. This is a great way to, to work on the premise of a novel. Number one, the poison manuscript, a rare ancient manuscript, is discovered in an old library, but those who come into contact with it start dying under mysterious circumstances. A detective must unravel the secrets of the manuscript and stop the killings before more lives are lost. I like that. I like that. Um, the vanishing village in a remote village. Every resident mysteriously disappears overnight, leaving behind untouched homes and belongings. A detective is called to uncover the truth, and find out if it was an elaborate hoax, an alien abduction, or something even more sinister. That's a lot of fun. A lot of stuff going on there. Uh, the haunting portrait, uh, the time loop homicide. That, that would be interesting. The dinner party death, mysterious lighthouse keeper, the art heist homicide. Oh, I bet that I love a heist novel. The illusionist murder, a renowned illusionist dies during a live performance with no apparent cause of death. The detective must delve into the world of magic and deception to uncover the truth. Oh, that sounds like a lot of fun. The radio broadcast murder, time traveling killer. These murder mystery story ideas offer a range of settings, themes, and challenges to captivate your readers and keep them guessing until the very end. 
A lot of fun there, a lot to get the old creative juices flowing. If you just need to sit and write something with a bit of spark to get you started, then you, you can ask for writing prompts. So let's start with this prompt. Can you give me five creative writing prompts for romance authors? So for our romance author, let's paste that into chat GPT and see what it comes up with. Certainly, here are five creative writing prompts for a romance author. Time-traveling love letters. A character discovers a set of old love letters hidden in the attic only to realize that they were written by a time traveler from the past or future. As they read more letters, they become entangled in a romance that defies the boundaries of time. That sounds like a lot of fun. The Art of Second Chances. Uh, the Mysterious Matchmaker. Forbidden Love on the High Seas. The Love Potion Experiment. These cover all sorts of subgenres, as you can see, that really get the ideas flowing. These prompts offer a mix of unique scenarios, intriguing challenges, and diverse settings to inspire romance authors to craft captivating and unconventional love stories. Maybe you have two characters who need to have an important conversation, and maybe you don't want to write it. Ask our robot friend to do it for you by describing the characters and their situation. Here's the prompt we'll use. I need to workshop some dialogue for a novel I'm writing. This setting is a fantasy world city under siege. The conversation is between a compassionate queen in charge of the city and a very logical captain of the guard. Can you write some tense dialogue between the two of them about the dwindling food supply? The captain is advocating for tougher rationing. The queen is arguing that rationing won't work if hungry people riot. Okay, so we're going to take this prompt and we're going to copy it and we're going to paste it into ChatGPT and see what our old robot friend comes up with. And it's come up, uh, it's created two characters for us, and it's creating uh, some back and forth dialogue. Let's just take a sample here. Queen Alara, with concern. Captain Thorne, I understand your need for rationing, but we must tread carefully. Desperation can turn the people against us. Rationing alone might not be enough. Captain Thorne resolutely says, Your Majesty, I don't mean to sound heartless, but if we continue to distribute what little food we have left without restraint, we risk an even greater catastrophe. Orderly rationing is the only way to ensure our survival. Queen Alara gesturing to the city below. Look at them, Captain. Our people are already on edge. They need hope, not more restrictions. If they feel we're withholding sustenance, it could lead to unrest, perhaps even a full-blown rebellion. Your Majesty, I've seen what happens when cities fall to starvation. Rationing is our best hope of Lasting until the siege is broken, our guards can only do so much, but hunger can turn even the most loyal citizens against us. And as you see, the dialogue continues back and forth, and uh, it expertly kind of takes both sides of the situation and, and, and plays that out. So, um, you know, I wouldn't use this verbatim, but it's a great way to kind of get the creative juices flowing. This. So that, that leads to a question. Can I write my whole book using chat GPT? Well, this is a tough question. Is chat GPT theoretically capable of constructing a novel length work with an interesting plot, characters and setting? M maybe. Will it do it for you? Probably not. As we discussed before, chat GPT is built to be a conversation, so it won't go write a novel if you tell it to. But putting all of that aside, the robot overlords currently still depend on us mere mortals to bring heart and soul to a story. ChatGPT isn't going to replace you because the stories in your head are yours alone. Is it wrong to use ChatGPT for my story? Some people out there feel like using AI tools is cheating. If you're one of those people, then that is a totally fair opinion to have. There's a lot about artificial intelligence that we will be figuring out as a society in the coming years. But just like spell check and grammar tools make the writing process easier, ChatGPT can do the same. 
If it's something you're interested in using, then do. AI writing tools are best used to generate, curate, and build on ideas that come from your brain. So use whatever tools will help you write that darn book and make it great. Think of ChatGPT as a friend in your trusted writer group that you're bouncing ideas off of. That works for me. Hopefully it'll work for you as well.